begins, then shrinks to inset video. Earlier, hours earlier, alarms and klaxons. What is that? Perry busts through the door. It's a town hall meeting. They've called a town hall. Huh? We've got five minutes. Remember your training. Run, run! <laughs> back to Laura's dorm room, Silas University night. Once the flashback has been reduced to an inset, we come back to Laura. It's hours later, she's wearing the same clothes, but she's disheveled, and there's something that's probably <laughs> dirt on her face. From outside the room come an occasional sounds of feet, running and distant screams. So that was harrowing. They really do not like tardiness here. Sorry for getting all cliffhangery. Sometimes a girl likes to manufacture a little excitement, you know? So, did Silas's Byzantine bureaucracy call a town hall to finally discuss the fact that girls are going missing? Nope. Apparently, uploading anything inflammatory from the Silas Ethernet. Ethernet? Ethernet? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a word they can't even spell properly. <laughs> By the way, sets off an immediate security response. The sound of running water off screen shuts off. The door to the suite's bedroom swings wide open, and Danny, 23. <laughs> Tall and bronzed, and a wins all the track and field titles kind of way emerges. I think I got the worst of it out. Thanks for letting me use your bathroom. Oh, you're absolutely welcome. And sorry about the general level of filth. My roommate's kind of relaxed about the whole hygiene thing. Oh, yeah, not a problem. So your roommate was the one that was glaring at us on the walk back, right? The, the one with all that eyeliner? <laughs> hey, where'd she go? Though neither Laura or Danny notice, there's a bat fluttering around the dorm room. Uh, she dematerializes within 20 feet of unwashed dishes. Ah, okay. Uh, are you making another video? Like, eight hot seconds after almost being busted? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Pretty ballsy, Hollis. Yeah, ballsy. That's that's me. <laughs> Besides, LaFontaine thinks she's figured out a way to post them safely, and I have got to report on the crazy at the town hall, right? Um, but before I do, hey everybody, meet Danny Lawrence, <laughs> my very awesome English lit TA and VP of Outdoor Rec for the Summer Society, which is a campus social club for all girls athletics. Uh, yeah. We host the school's annual uh, Donna's Festival and Hunt. Uh, hi, Laura's audience. It's uh, nice to be here. Um, I don't know if I've got an audience yet, but it is nice to have you here. Have you here. <laughs> so, uh, the town hall. We're all crammed into the auditorium. The dean gets up, and holy crap is she six feet of power-suited, middle-aged Glamazon, and says, <clears throat> The university uh, has received information that an irresponsible individual or individuals are circulating rumors about students disappearing. Rest assured, if these disturbances do not cease, the perpetrators will be dealt with. At which point I am pretty sure I'm going to be expelled because no one is saying anything, probably because they're afraid she's going to suck their souls out through their eye sockets, but then Danny stands up and... Oh, it really wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah, it, it was. <laughs> I just wanted to point out that you shouldn't be calling a missing persons report rumors when one of our own members went missing at a rush party. That's cool. That is amazingly cool. I mean, amazing is just a really brave person standing up for people who can't stand up for themselves. Like, like that kind of amazing. <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, you know, not that it mattered much once the Zetas started on that safety patrol crap. <laughs> The obstreperous brothers of Zeta Omega Mu have decided it is uncool that hotties might feel unsafe going to parties or making their walks of shame at 4am, and so will be designating a, per a brother to personally protect any co-ed, 7.5 or higher. Which is just a faux chivalrous way of oppressing the female student body. We should be reinstating our night marches. Yes, completely. Uh, but when Danny and the Summer Society suggested that, the alchemy department started freaking out because apparently that's going to ruin some mycological transition. <laughs> You're such a weird little creeper. And the Satas responded with this Greek chant that pretty much sounded like pizza or death. And then some idiots started throwing salted herring into the crowd. They certainly did do that. So the dean ended the town hall before anyone could actually talk about anything. Ugh. When Laura pauses, Danny reaches over to extract a fishtail from her disheveled hair. 
<laughs> Thanks, I thought I got them all out. The meeting may have really sucked, but I'm really glad that I ran into you. Me too. You know, um, I think we should collaborate. You know, compare notes. You know, figure things out. <laughs> you can document the investigation for your project here. I think we'd make a pretty great team. A fly swatter against the bat, which gooshes against the window. <laughs> yes! You and me, a team, absolutely. <laughs> Okay then. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head back and grab my notes about our missing sister, and uh, I'll see you soon. Oh. Danny heads out. More waves and waves and giggles. And once Danny is gone, she slumps against the door frame for a moment, then breaks into a spinny little dance. Before <laughs> there's a knock on the door. Laura jumps. Danny, did did you forget something? Laura starts to rise, but before she can finish, Kirsch, 19, a big, beefy puppy dog, and Will, 21, a mean-looking kind of thug, burst in. Hey, little nerd hottie. Uh, hi. Who are you? I'm your, uh, designated... Zeta Omega Mu, safety companion. Like an escort, hmm. only a dude. A dude squirt. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> hey, is that a, a fish in your hair? Laura lets her head thump against her desk. End of episode.